Hey y'all, I am Karen Brunelsi in Charleston, South Carolina with your October 2024 market update. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, we are officially past the election, which I know was keeping a lot of buyers on the sidelines. Everyone was kind of waiting to see what would happen. So we're done there. We're in the final few months of the year. And I want to take a look at where we stand right now after finishing up the month of October, two months left in the year. What are the big stories? So right now we have seen an increase in inventory. We're up from October about 4.5% for the year. So we had about 630 new listings hit the market. Just like every other month before this year, pricing is continuing to go up. The average sales price is still sitting right at a million, a million 25 to be exact. So property values are holding strong, which has been the story the entire year. As far as list price, like what are sellers actually receiving of that high number in Charleston County? They're getting about 95.5% of the actual list price. So what do we take away from that? Pricing is extremely important. As we saw a slowdown in activity in October, and as we continue to kind of still see a slowdown in activity as we're finishing out the year, naturally because of holidays and still some people waiting on the sidelines, trying to figure out what this new presidency is going to bring um, to our economy, pricing is so important. You don't want as a seller, your home to sit on the market, not get showings. You need to price it correctly and also make sure that it is presented in the right way. You know, the home is attractive. It invites people in to come and take a look at it. Things seem organized. It doesn't seem like there's a lack of space. And then making sure that that price fits the property for the neighborhood that it's in and will work for buyers who are actually looking um, where your home is. And then also overall inventory is up 34% for the year. So year over year, we have had about 1,297 listings in 2024. So what's the big takeaway as we finish out the year and as we have a couple more videos to kind of wrap up what 2024 looked at? Buyers, we are not in a buyer's market. Inventory still says that we are in a seller's market. But what I am saying is that there are some really great opportunities right now for buyers who are on the sidelines waiting. Some of these homes are sitting a little bit longer and sellers are wanting to get those moved. Some of them have to move on to another property. Maybe they're already under contract or they've already closed on another home. So there are some good opportunities there for maybe some price negotiation, some different closing costs initiatives, something that may work for you. So I think that we can get really creative now because some of the homes and in the inventory are sitting. Um, and then for sellers, a couple things that I think that you should take away. Um, again, pricing is number one. Getting that price correct is so, so important. Next, I think that if you currently are on the market, just really making sure that your home is being marketed correctly. So um, is it in front of people? Are there marketing pieces that are enticing buyers to come in? And then if you're considering going on the market in the next couple months as we enter the new year, I think now is the perfect time to invite me and my team over to take a look at your home, give you some advice on what we think might make your home show better when you do hit the market, and then also like just start to do those little cleanup projects, maybe organize some closets, organize your space, declutter. Um, so if you're considering selling, I think that now during this holiday slowdown is the perfect time to get things ready. You do not want to wait until the beginning of the year because everyone else who's planning to sell will also be doing the same thing. But overall, from a market stats perspective, what we're seeing is much of the same story as we have all year long. Prices are continuing to accelerate, so pricing is staying strong in Charleston County. Sellers are still getting a fair amount of their list price at those elevated prices, so anywhere throughout the year from 95 to 98% of list price, um, with the higher range being more in the spring market that we see. And then also inventory is continuing to increase. And I personally, while I don't have a magic ball or a crystal ball, I do think that we'll continue to see that as we move into the spring. I think that there are a lot of sellers and buyers who have been on the sidelines. So that is the October market report for you. I'll be back at the beginning of December with your market information for November. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and my team directly. We would be happy to help you in any way that you need.